Well, good morning. If you think you need to go to an exotic place far away from your house to get good photos of birds or to have a good enjoyable birding experience, think again. Chances are there's some pretty amazing opportunities for wildlife photography, bird photography, right in your own backyard. Let me show you. Urban parks and nature paths often follow natural drainage patterns. And towns and cities have set up little riparian areas that are like the one I'm in right now. So you don't have to travel very far from your house sometimes to find some really nice places that are a little bit uh, away from all the city hustle and bustle. So the point is, I'm like, five minutes from my house, right here. This nature trail is part of the uh, Cochise College. It's um, in conjunction with Cochise College and Arizona Fish and Game. So we're just really fortunate to have a place like this right here in the middle of town that is so close that we can have this nature habitat to come and enjoy. One of the advantages of going to a park or a multi-use pathway for birding urban birding is those birds in those settings are often not as skittish. They're more accustomed to seeing people. Doesn't mean they'll come right up to you, but you're much more likely to get closer to them just because they're more used to seeing people. One of the neat things about this nature path here is the presence of all these birdhouses. And there's several of them scattered throughout the area. One of the things that's necessary for urban birding it's the same for any wildlife photography. It's to find a place, sit down, and just be patient and wait. Because sooner or later, those birds are going to show up. One thing you also want to make sure you do is remember your bug spray. We're coming up on our monsoon, so the gnats are just relentless this morning. And I left my mosquito repellent in the truck. Oh, here's the cardinal. Another tool that can be very helpful and useful to birders, especially beginning birders like myself, is a, to look for an app on your phone that'll help you identify the birds. And one that I'm really enjoying right now is called Merlin. After you've downloaded the app, go ahead and open it. And then you're going to start with, let's start with the photo ID of the bird. So you're gonna choose a photo that you've taken. So I'm gonna go into my gallery and I'm gonna find an photo that I took the other day. And you're going to expand the photo a little bit. And then there's a little tool up at the top where you can rotate it if you need to. It spits upside down. And then you just expand it until it fills that entire box. And if you get it a little bit off the top, you can go ahead. If you discover it's a little bit cropped off at the top, you can hit the back button at the top there, a little arrow that goes back and you can fix the photo again and get it all the way so it fills the photo, fills the frame and then from there you can go and if you know the location that'll help as well and I'm going to select Sierra Vista and then I'm going to hit identify and there it is it's a uh, red tail hawk and it gives you the information about the bird and you can uh, click yes this is my bird if that's what you want to do so now we're going to go back and look at sound ID and it's going to record the sound instead of hears an ambient. Now since we're indoors, there's uh, no birds chirping. But what we can see here is the library of the different sound recordings that I have made over the last uh, couple, three weeks of having this app on my phone. So I just pressed uh, Bridal Tith Mouse, and that will take you to the uh, library in Merlin and let you see what the bird uh, sounds are. Another feature is you can explore birds. You can look from their entire library that you have for that region that you've downloaded uh, from A to Z. And you can also search a particular bird if you need to. An area doesn't have to be big to deliver big. Just sitting here this morning for about 20 minutes or so, I've already seen a cardinal. I've seen several uh, what I think are red-tailed hawks flying overhead. I'm hearing 
morning doves, uh, white winged doves, of course sparrows and finches, you know, house, house sparrows and house finches, hearing lots of those. And uh, I've heard a couple of canyon towhees. It doesn't have to be big to deliver big for wildlife photography and bird photography. There's a lot of benefits to doing urban birding. Just getting out in nature for a little while, start your day, is has therapeutic qualities about it. It kind of sets the day off right, it's nice and quiet. You get to hear all these nature sounds, smell the fresh air, and enjoy just a little quiet time before the day gets started. You have to jump into the hustle and bustle of everything else that's going on. And even though I can hear cars on the road, probably 30 yards behind me, um, it's still just a very quiet and peaceful um, nature path here with all of these uh, trees and the birds. And, and that's, not, that's not the only wildlife that I've seen. I've actually seen several rabbits hopping around out here. I've seen footprints for possibly javelina and then I've also seen some scat that would indicate that there's a bobcat or two and definitely some coyotes hanging out in there as well. So so yeah it's just there's a lot of benefits to urban to it going to an urban setting even you know five minutes from your house because it just gives you an opportunity to just kind of unwind for a few minutes and, and uh, connect with nature which is very healing. Well, thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes today. I know you could be anywhere, but you've chosen to hang out with me, and I appreciate that. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. It really does help when you like it. And hit that bell so you'll be notified of all future videos. I hope that you can find something in your area that's close to your house that gives you a chance to get out into nature, whether it's a, a path, a multi-use path, a park, or a nature trail. Thanks a bunch and um, we'll see you next time.